Hello everyone. I'm here today with what will probably be the last process video for my Wales album. Rill was my last major stop before catching the ferry back to Dublin. And when I got up in the morning, I decided to go out and tour the beach. The tide was low, so I could go way out on the sand and see all the shells stuck in the sand and everything. And it was peaceful. There was basically nobody out there but me. It was glorious. And I've already done some layouts off camera documenting it and then this is my last one here this is all the stuff that i have left from what i've already used i have these over here as well and so i'm just trying to figure out how to make those pieces work with what i have left and i probably will do some stamping on some of these because i have a lot of extra space here so it lends itself well to having nice big phrases there and then I'd like to work in some of these elements too if I can make it all work and it looks good but this is what I'm starting with luckily I already have background papers picked out and everything and I would substitute one of those for a card if I had one that had a good phrase I'm just not sure that I have it but this is at least what I'm starting with today so let's see where it goes found a couple of things already I think I want to use. In my little pieces here, I have this wood veneer, which I love. It takes up almost the whole card, but it does leave me also a little bit of room to stamp there, a short phrase. And I want to bring in some black because I also want to use this little piece up here. And it has black and white on it, so I want to do that. And then I need to find something that can go on here. I'll probably do some stamping over here, but at least this gets me started. I was a little worried at first about these colors against each other, but I like it. And I think the black will help it pop once I figure out what I want to stamp. I think I have decided I'm going to stamp beach. I used a smaller stamp that said this in a different font on a, on a previous layout, but I haven't used this one and I love that it's pretty big. I think it'll work nicely if I put this here and then I put beach right above it. I love that it's a very different font from what is here as well. It just gives it a nice visual look to it. But I think I'm going to do that and hope that it works out. All right, I did my stamping. It came out great. Now I'm going to use this. And I just wanted to show you, I believe this is from Colorcast Designs. Their wood veneers tend to be very, very thin, which I love. And then they come with this 3M backing tape on it. You just peel that off and it's completely self-adhesive. So you don't have to mess with trying to get glue on it with a fine tip like you do with some other wood veneer. All you have to do is peel and stick. That has been adhered and just looking at it, I think I may need to either do some blue splattering or use some enamel dots or something to bring in something else on that. But right now I'm going to leave it. I can fill in my date here and attach that. That'll be something else I can get done. And then I probably need to address what's gonna go up here. Well, I changed my mind a little bit. I was about to stick that on here and then decided, no, it looks better against this paper. It, that black and white really gives it a pop. It still leaves me room to add some kind of other embellishment there, but then I can still stamp on these photos if I want to, and a black would look really good on this background because of the sand. And so I think I'm going to do that next. I need to figure out, figure out my stamps and just get that done. For this upper photo here, I've decided to use this stamp set. And ironically, this one is called Big City Love, so it's mostly about cities, but I like this stamp here that says check out this view. And I think it'll work quite nicely because there's a lot of dead space here where you're just looking over to the horizon. Then you notice the shells here. But if I do that stamp right there, I think that'll look pretty cool. I did my stamping and it didn't come out totally crisp right here, but I have some tiny rhinestones. I think I might put one there to cover that little circle or a little puffy dot something. I have stuff in my stash and that would help bring in some more of the blue. So I may just do that anyway, but I have that one done. So now I have to figure out what will can, can I put over here that would be appropriate with the other phrases I have going on. And I love the fact that I'm going to have a visual triangle of stamping 
It just will bring all the phrases together. So I have an idea here about possibly doing some double stamping. I have this right here that says exploring on foot, which I like the idea of using that. And then I also have this one that says toes in the sand. And I think they both work for that photo. So I'm just wondering how I can possibly double them up together to have sort of a stacked image of stamping right there. So I think I will figure that out, mess around with it, and then I'll be back. I've done the first part of the stamping. I would actually decided to only use the part that's at the top of the stamp. I decided I really didn't need the part that said on foot. So I just did the exploring and now I can do the smaller one that says toes in the sand right beneath that. And I think it's going to look great. I have completed the stamping and I'm really happy with that. I love that I got to do the two step stamping and it looks a little bit different with a bigger font and a smaller font. I really love it. So that one will go there. And again, I do think I need the blue and I need something blue here. So that is what's next on my agenda. I looked through the rest of the bits and pieces that I had and nothing really jumped out at me for blue for what I wanted here. It didn't have the right color or the right phrase. Didn't, just didn't have the right feel. So I went into some of my other stash and I came across this. It's a wood veneer from a travel release that Allie Edwards did. And I love the blue. I love that it's just a very simple and graphic image there with just that big W. I really like that. So I think I'm going to use that. Then I just need to figure out what I'm going to do. You know, do I want the blue enamel dots or puffy dots somewhere? Or what am I adding for sprinkling stuff because I don't know that I want to do anything with these photos. I love that the blue is showing and there's nothing to obstruct it. So I think I want to just really leave those alone. So when I went looking for some enamel dots for this, I wanted to also pull out some white just in case I want to mix some of that around because I have it a little bit here and then some with the shell and that's kind of it. And so I feel like something is needed on the left side. So maybe I'll mix in some blue and white here. Not sure, but I have them. And then I found two options for blue. I have these sparkling ones, which I love. It would add a nice little bit of bling to the shiny shells and things in the sand. But then I also have these, which are more of just a regular finish. I mean, they're shiny, but not in the same way because there's no glitter in them. And I may mix and match. I don't know. So now I'm just going to sit down and play with all of these dots and see what I come up with here. All right, I ended up doing a mix. I did from these, I did a mix of both the lighter and the darker blue, since I do have both shades there. And I used a couple of the white dots as well. So up here, I chose the lighter blue just to give it that little sparkle. Here, I did the darker blue and then a small white just to bring that in so both phrases are highlighted. And then down here, I have two sparkly ones, which I love, and this one I actually just put it on there and cut off the part that hung over, and there wasn't enough left to save, so I tossed that, and then one just medium-sized white one, and that's it here, and I think this one is done. I don't want to overdo it. I think there's just enough of every color and the different shades of yellow to set off everything. Yellow and blue look so good together and I really like it here. So I'll put everything in the pockets, but otherwise this one is done. Probably my last one finished for Wales. Thanks for watching.